Hey guys, I'm Jordan and you're watching Fixbook. After watching this video, your car problems stand about as much a chance as this laptop does against my hot lid. Now, make sure you stay tuned so you can see what happened to the laptop at the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. Alright guys, and the tools you'll need for today is a ratchet with an extension, a 7mm or a 6mm or the standard measurement that's in between those two. I just use a 7mm socket, it worked just fine. And then you'll also want a 10mm socket for your 3 8 ratchet and then a pair of dikes or side cutters would be really helpful as well. Okay guys, and the first thing we'll want to do is we've got this piece right here and you can see we've got these little hold down fastener guys. And basically what we'll want to do is we'll want to grab them with the pair of dikes, we'll pull up on that piece right there. And then we should be able to pull our little guy here that's meant to fasten this guy down. We should be able to pull him out right out like you saw me do. And now I'm going to zoom out. We need to remove this whole piece right here. And actually my piece didn't come with a lot of these things in. It actually didn't come with any in. I just found one to, to kind of show and demonstrate. So once you get all those removed, there's like one there, one there, one there one there you'll just find them all along here you need to remove them all then you should be able to just pull this piece right out like that and then on the ends here they'll be kind of working in there so you may just have to kind of pull and pull out and then we'll set this piece off to the side the next thing we'll do okay guys and the next thing i'll do is i'm going to come right under here we have some seven millimeter bolts i'm just going to go ahead and get my ratchet on this guy And there we go, we just got the three of them here. And now we'll be able to pull this fender, this inner piece right here, and we'll be able to get to the bolt that's holding this guy in so we can kind of pull him off to the side and then we'll begin on getting our bumper out of the way. Okay guys, and we just had two 10 millimeter bolts going up there. So like I said, you can get your little shield out of the way there and run your ratchet and get those two 10 millimeter bolts. Okay guys, now to get our bumper out of the way, what we have is we have three of those seven millimeter or standard measurement equivalent bolts there right below. Um, they're sitting right there. You got three of them, you gotta remove those. Then we've got more of those pull little plastic pin things there. I'll show you here in just a second. We're gonna take those off. And then we should be able to pull our bumper down okay so we've got more of these guys right here and as we can see the other two are missing right here so I'm just gonna grab this guy right like that you kind of separate him from his piece right there and then just pull him pull him on up out there and it looks like that one's a little damaged so once we do that we should be able to pull this bumper cover down out of our way and I'll show you what that looks like See, now we can see we've got this guy out of our way. Okay, guys, and when you go to finish up removing your bumper, basically you're just going to do the same thing to the other side there, and you can see your bumper will just come all the way off. And then going to put it back together, the procedure is going to be the same when you go to install it in just the reverse order. So that concludes today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch all my new videos which publish Mondays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 11 a.m. Central Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time and I will see you then.